probably briefly worth differentiating allergies from food intolerances. The symptoms of the two can be very similar, and people often describe both problems as an allergy. However, there are key differences. An allergy is the body's immune system reacting to what it sees as a foreign or unusual protein in the body, whereas an intolerance is often a secondary reaction that can be triggered by a variety of factors, including the diet. There are three main causes of food-related intolerances in dogs. Nutrient imbalances, ingredient sensitivities, and hypersensitivities, and they can all be related. To avoid nutrient imbalance, look for foods with high levels of high-quality proteins and omega-3 fatty acids. Hair growth and skin keratinization both place heavy demands on proteins, with around 25% of a dog's daily protein allowance being used for the maintenance of skin health. So, look for lots of high-quality proteins, such as fish. All complete foods meet the daily nutritional requirements of dogs, but some do so with better, more nutritional ingredients, and will give much better skin condition. The next is ingredient sensitivities. The process for managing this is the same as for food allergies, namely elimination diets to identify the problem ingredient. And lastly are hypersensitivities. In the case of hypersensitivities, skin irritation and inflammation are caused by circulating chemicals known as series 1 eicosanoids. These compounds are byproducts from the body's metabolism of omega-6 fatty acids, which are found in vegetable oils and chicken fat. A surplus of these omega-6 fats causes the increase in the eicosanoids in the blood, which puts the body in a state of alert, causing it to overreact to small disturbances in the diet. Omega-3 can counteract the effects of omega-6, putting the body back into balance by producing anti-inflammatory series 3 and 5 eicosanoids. The ideal ratio of omega-6 to 3 is a matter of debate. Some argue for a ratio of around 1 to 1, but the general view is that a ratio of between 5 to 1 and 10 to 1, omega-6 to 3, is optimal. The problem is that many foods are rich in chicken and vegetable oil, and so many foods have ratios well in excess of 20 or even 30 to 1. Feeding a high-quality fish-based food or supplementing with a small quantity of pure fish oil is the most effective way of achieving this ratio.